What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and we have an awesome practice here for you today. This is a response to request for that beach body yoga. You asked for it. You're going to get it. But we're going to go at it mindfully, really blanket ourselves in self-love, accept where you are today, get a little heat going in the body, trim, tone, but also make sure that we're being really kind to ourselves and really loving because that's what matters most, right? That's where the real transformation comes from. All right. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Welcome my friend. Let's start standing at the top of your yoga mat. Palms pressing together at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes, feel your feet on the earth. Lift your sternum to your thumbs. Relax the shoulders down and begin to notice your breath. Gently draw the chin to the chest, bow the head to the heart, tuning into this moment, accepting where you are today. And gently release the fingertips, lift the chin, and inhale, squeeze shoulders to ears, Exhale, drop them down. Two more, squeeze and lift as you breathe in. And exhale, relax them down. One more time, squeezing and then releasing on the exhale. Beautiful. Soften the knees and when you're ready, inhale, reach for the sky. Imagine you're carrying a big beach ball overhead here, so give yourself lots of space. Inhale, lift the heart, reach and exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward. Inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, forward fold. Take your time here, find what feels good, clasp the elbows, shake the head a little side to side. Maybe gently walk the fingertips to one side, then the other. Bend the knees as generously as you need. And when you're ready, release the arms and inhale, draw the palms all the way up to the tops of the thighs, loop the shoulders back and find length from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Draw the navel in, inhale, exhale, fold. Let's explore that again. Inhale, this time palms to shins, loop the shoulders back, draw the navel up towards the spine, lengthen through the neck. Breathe in and exhale fold this time fingers on the earth we inhale loop the shoulders find length kind of an ashtangi version here and on an exhale release one more this time inhale connecting to your center lift the heels draw the navel inward and upward uddiyana bandha and on an exhale release great job inhale sweep the arms up and overhead big stretch big stretch and exhale bend the elbows thumbs back pinkies forward inhale reach exhale fold inhale lengthen find that flat back your version exhale fold plant the palms step it back to plank couple deep breaths here press away from your yoga mat keep that length from crown to tail then when you're ready slowly lower the knees down hug the elbows into the side body keep that length as you slowly lower down cobra inhale to open your heart exhale to release inhale to plank and exhale navel to spine as you send it back downward facing dog Pedal through the feet, and when you're ready, drop the left heel and inhale, lift the right leg up high. Take a moment to work it out, maybe stack the hips, open it. And then here we go, connecting to our center, we'll squeeze knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, and exhale, release, switch sides. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Take a second, stack the hips, open up. And we'll bring it back and knee to nose. Draw the navel up. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
and exhale release down dog deep breath in big exhale out through the mouth make your way to the top take your time move with ease move with your breath inhale lifts you up halfway exhale full root to rise inhale reach for the sky and exhale bending the elbows inhale reach exhale fold finding something new each time inhale halfway lift your version exhale soften and bow plant the palms step it back to plank and this time you can lower the knees or not lowering down belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog move with your breath find your rhythm we'll meet in down dog here we go inhale lift the right leg up high exhale knee to nose this time step the right foot up lower the back knee down we'll find a nice low lunge here as we pull the right hip crease back and reach the fingertips up high big beach ball over the head inhale in open the chest and on an exhale raining it down lift the back knee connect to your center inhale open up to a twist right fingertips towards the sky lengthen through the neck through the crown on an exhale we bring it back step the right foot back move through a vinyasa a flow that suits you again work to find your rhythm we'll meet in down dog here we go inhale lift the left leg up high exhale knee to nose step it up lower the right knee down and take your time here find your footing engage the inner thighs pull the left hip crease back and inhale reach it up and overhead big beach ball lots of space inhale lift your heart smile and on an exhale rain it down Plant the right palm. When you're ready, pull that left hip crease back. Left fingertips up towards the sky. Breathing deep here. Long, beautiful neck. And exhale, release. Plant the palm, step it back. And you go with the flow. In Downward Dog, take a deep breath in and exhale sigh it out inhale look forward on the exhale make your way to the top inhale lift and lengthen exhale soften and bow bend the knees inhale reach for the sky and exhale thumbs back pinkies forward inhale reach exhale forward fold this time bend the knees generously pull both hip creases back feet are together and when you're ready left fingertips come right down in front of your gaze and we're going to open right fingertips to the sky keep that length in the crown inhale and on an exhale bring it back right fingertips replace the left and inhale as if you were pulling a bow and arrow back reach left fingertips up towards the sky big breath in you got this exhale back down you go forward fold inhale lift and lengthen maybe trying lifting the heels connecting to your center and then maintain that as you bend the knees and try to hop it back chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog inhale lift the right leg up high exhale right knee to right tricep inhale three-legged dog exhale cross it over to the left inhale three-legged dog last time exhale knee to nose and step your right foot up high lunge squeeze the inner thighs together cultivate strength and when you're ready inhale reach the fingertips up high big beach ball overhead pull that right hip crease back connect to your center inhale draw the palms together and exhale big twist to the right left tricep to the outer edge of that right thigh bone strong in the back leg you can always lower the back knee 
as you grow your practice, lift it up whenever you're ready. Option here to open up the arms, keep length from crown to tail. Awesome, inhale in, exhale release. Step the back foot up halfway, pyramid pose, straightening both legs, lifting right hip crease up towards the heavens. Relax the weight of the head down and breathe deep. Big inhale in, big exhale, back to your lunge and back to plank. Find your rhythm, move with your breath, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, last time. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot up. Find your foundation. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Bend that right knee a little bit so you can get your pelvis underneath you. Navel draws in and up. When you're ready, reach for the sky. Lots of space. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, moving into your twist. Outer edge of the right arm against the outer edge of the left thigh. Lots of length from the crown all the way to the tail and all the way out through that right heel. Open up the arms if you're ready. If not, be where you are today, fully present. Inhale in, exhale to release. Great, step that back foot up, pyramid pose, straightening both legs, inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold. Top of the left thigh bone gently pulls up. Take one more deep breath in, then use your exhale to slowly come back to your lunge back to a strong plank. And then you can take it straight to downward facing dog or vinyasa. Listen to your body, move with your breath. From down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees and exhale, hop or step to the top. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, reach, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift the heels, draw the belly in. Then maintain that connection to your center, Uddiyana Bandha, as you release the palms to the ground and practice hopping it back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Here we go, picking up the pace, giddy up. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, exhale, cross it over. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, then step it up. Pivot on the back foot, find your foundation for warrior one. Reaching the fingertips up whenever you're ready, big beach ball overhead. And slowly we'll release the arms, find eagle arms, right arm underneath the left arm. Inhale, elbows lift. Exhale, bowing forward. Chin to chest, navel draws in. Beautiful, strong footing as you inhale, unravel, and exhale, warrior two. Keep breathing. Inhale, reach right fingertips forward, up and back. Peaceful warrior, keep that bend in the front knee. Exhale, extended side angle, long neck. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale all the way back to your lunge. Really nice work. We'll pivot on the back foot. And here we go, inhale, standing splits, or as I like to call it, standing one-legged forward fold. So think Uttanasana on that front leg. Lift from the left inner thigh, left toes point down. Keep breathing here. We're gonna soften through that left knee, bend that left knee and slowly lift it up through center. Reach the arms up and overhead, standing one-legged Tadasana, you got this. Stay connected to your core, inhale, and exhale, release the left foot down. 
Beautiful. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale, step or hop it back. Move through a vinyasa here or feel free to take it straight to downward facing dog. Here we go, other side. Moving with the breath. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot up, pivot on the back foot. Find your foundation when you're ready. Reach the fingertips up high, warrior one. Pulling that left hip crease back. Inhale, open your heart. And exhale, this time left arm underneath the right, Garundasana arms. Inhale, lift the elbows up high. Exhale, draw the navel in, chin to chest, rounding through the spine, strong legs here. Inhale, exhale, unravel, warrior two. Beautiful, front knee over front ankle. Moving with the breath, inhale, peaceful warrior, reach fingertips forward, up and back. Create space. On an exhale, extended side angle. Maintain that length from crown to tail. Keep energy in the right inner thigh. Peaceful warrior, one more time, moving with your breath, just nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, cartwheeling all the way back down to your lunge. Awesome work. Pivot on the back foot, standing splits whenever you're ready. Working to keep the inner thighs engaged, the toes full of energy. Hips are leveled here, so you're really thinking about bringing your right inner thigh up towards the sky. Maintain nice control with the breath, strong focus. Here we go, bringing the right knee in nice and slow all the way up. Fingertips reach towards the sky, standing one-legged Tadasana, big beach ball overhead. Squeeze right knee up and in, and on an exhale, release. Inhale, reach, maybe slight back bend here, and exhale, hands to heart, namaste. Awesome work, take a moment here to loop the shoulders, Close your eyes, cool it down, observe your breath. And when you're ready, step or hop the feet as wide as your yoga mat and then turn your toes out left to right so they're spilling off the mat. Inhale, reach for the heavens and exhale, down you go, have some fun, keep it light. We're coming into our yogic squat. Some love for the hips here. Keep a nice awareness in the head, the neck. Press into all four corners of the feet and if the heels don't come down, no prob. You can keep them lifted here. Then stay here or if you have a crow practice or want to practice Vakasana, now would be a great chance to do that. Bringing the toes together, sending the gaze forward. Your practice thus far has really prepped you nicely for Bakasana. Be sure to keep your gaze forward, navel drawing up. You can also just stay in the yogic squat. It's a little bit of play time for you to either give some love to the hips or work on your arm balance. When you're satisfied, we'll meet by slowly bringing the fingertips behind us and coming to sit. When you're ready, extend the legs out long, maybe give them a little shake. And we'll bring the right knee up towards the chest, swim the right fingertips behind. Check in with the neck, make sure there's no added tension there. Sometimes in a powerful practice, we can create some tension in the neck. And then when you're ready, just switch to the other side. Same little twist, sit up nice and tall, check in with the neck. Breathe, big breaths all the way down into your diaphragm, into your belly. Awesome, then when you're ready, release. 
And we'll bring both knees up, feet on the ground. And bring the hands behind the backs of the thighs. Loop the shoulders, lift your heart. Stay there or slowly lift the shins parallel to the sky. Stay there or reach the fingertips forward, palms up. Lift your heart. Plug the shoulders back. Here we go. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, twist to the right as you extend through the left leg. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, to the left. So palms can be together, namaste, or you can separate them and pretend like you're holding Simba. I'm going to take Simba off the ledge, literally there. Have some fun with it. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, you twist. Keep going. Try to maintain that lift in the heart. This is so great for the core strength, for the back body. You got it. Keep it going. And if you need to back off a little bit, you can. No worries. Stay present. Smile. And here we go. Two more on each side. And now one more on each side. Stick with it. And release. Uh, one of my favorite yoga poses here. Arms resting on the knees. Just bow the head. And when you're ready, coming to lie down. Interlace the fingertips. Bring them behind the head. And go ahead and extend the thumbs. Begin to give yourself a little massage there. Releasing any tension. Should feel good. And when you're ready, let the knees fall heavy to the right. If you need more, cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh here. Then close your eyes and big breaths to find some release. And take it to the other side whenever you're ready. And again, if you need a little more, you can cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Breathe deep. Massaging the back of the neck. And then release. All right, keep the knees bent, heels on the ground. Inhale, lift the head, the neck, the shoulders, and then exhale, lift the shins parallel. Yogi bicycles, slow and mindful. Right knee to right elbows, you extend the right leg, and then exhale, twist. Inhale to center, exhale, twist. Inhale to center, exhale, twist, keep it going. Scoop the tailbone up, draw the navel down. Try to keep the elbows wide as you come to center. Cultivating strength, you are so awesome, so strong. Let's do two more. And now one more on each side, you got this. And we rock, release. Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined cobbler's pose. Take your hands to your belly, give them a little pet. Soles of the feet come together here, knees nice and wide. Ah, then when you're ready, bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand gently to the belly. Awesome work today. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. And take a solid moment to appreciate your body and when you're ready, we'll release the fingertips to the outer edges of the legs, bringing the knees together. Lift the toes. Squeeze knees up towards the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Then bring the palms to the knees and reach the toes towards the front edge. Should feel really good in the back body. And then whenever you're ready, roll it up. On an inhale, squeeze shoulders to ears. And exhale, drop them down. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, let it go. Last one, big squeeze. And exhale, release. Just take a quick moment here to close your eyes and experience stillness. Once again, give thanks for this moment. And gently bat the eyelashes open. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out.